Grew up with his hits like Laughter in the Rain. I love that. Breaking up is hard to do. And Calendar Girl and Neil Sadaka is here with us. Now, you look at that old video of yourself and you think, wow, what are you thinking when you look at that? Well, I was very fortunate being part of the history of rock and roll. Yeah, you are. And it's, it's wonderful to, to look back. Uh, it's been 55 years. Yeah. This is my second children's book. I'm very proud of it. But let's focus on your music first, because yes. I think your career is so extraordinary. I, have, I, I listened to you for so many years, and I was reading that you were a very good reader, but you really did like music. Your dad was a taxi driver who worked to put you into Juilliard. I'm thinking that was money well spent for you, Mr. Sadaka. That's right. My mother took a job as a sales lady in a department store, bought a secondhand piano, and I got a scholarship at the Juilliard School. Had every intention of becoming a classical pianist, but at 13 I discovered that I could write songs and sing. So I wrote, uh, when I was the first with Howie Greenfield to go to the Brill Building. But you wrote major hits though, Neil, and at what point did you say, you know what, I can sing too. I, <laughs> I got a voice, Erica, I can sing well, too. Well, Connie Francis had done Stupid Cupid and Where the Boys Are and lots of wonderful artists, and I said, I have an unusual voice, I can sing too. And uh, I went around the world as a musical ambassador, traveling and singing in six languages. Oh, show yes. off. I right? am a show off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You but mentioned Gail, Gail brought up the point about, you know, you were training classically. That, you know, sort of got put aside for a long time. But in October, you're actually going to be at Royal Albert Hall in London with the London Philharmonic? October the 17th, I wrote my first uh, symphony and my first piano concerto. So I've gone full circle back to my roots and I'm going to be performing them. Pretty, pretty impressive. You're also celebrating your 50th wedding anniversary this year. With a lovely Liba. Any, any of these songs that you wrote, were they ever written for Liba? Oh, Liba has many songs. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. She would throw me out if I didn't. <laughs> but uh, Which is her favorite? Oh, I think she likes, uh, she's become more of a music critic, a lyric critic now and you know you can't really choose a favorite uh they're you all can't you can't choose a favorite neil sadaka song well this they're more like my children i could choose one yes laughter in the rain Ooh, i hear laughter in the rain walking hand in hand with the one i love Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, very nice right oh i love okay go ahead go okay ahead. I sorry was, i was fortunate because elton john rediscovered me in the 70s i started uh, in the 50s and then i was out of work for 13 years you were, wait 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 you were I out of work out for of 13 work. years what were you doing i was writing for um, uh, Tom Jones and Shirley Bassey and many people and then uh, I moved the family to England and he said I heard you have some new songs but Neil, let's starting think a record company. But let's think about being out of work for 13 years because Paul Krugman is here we were talking about when people are unemployed for a long time what it does to you and how it makes you feel did you go through a bad time or you, no. when you're writing songs you're still working the creative mind is still working and it's a drive. You have to prove yourself each time. You have to raise the level of Neil Sedaka. You have to uh, do something. Top yourself. Top mm -hmm. yourself, exactly. Which could lead us to... It could. It could lead us to Dinosaur Pet. Oh, my, my, my. So, I know a couple of years ago you actually came and performed for us when you had a... Um, here at CBS when you came up with your children's album. Yes. This is even better. So you wrote this book. Your son wrote the book. This is a family affair. My son Mark wrote the book. My granddaughters, Charlotte and Amanda, uh, sing the background doo-wop vocals. And we changed the words to Calendar Girl to I love, I love, I love my dinosaur pet. pet. And it's great because little kids can listen to the CD in the book and then they can look at the illustration and they uh, look at the words, and it's a wonderful way of learning. I know. What do your grandchildren call you? Papa Neil. Papa, Papa Neil. And they love so. the Papa Neil rock and roll song, so I thought it would be cute to make them child friendly. Yeah, and I'm thinking Papa Neil still enjoys it, uh, entertaining the grandchildren and everybody else. You know, rumor is you could be up for uh, being admitted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wouldn't what would that, that mean that? to you? That would be after a wonderful all this thrill. Time. I'd like to see that in my lifetime. Uh -huh. It would be a wonderful thrill. But we're going to do the um, 92nd Street Y Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I'll be signing. And then Friday, the. Uh, uh, Barnes and Noble. All right, answering Neil questions and, and singing and all that jazz. You're doing something nice. right. And now he's back with Dinosaur Pet. Congratulations. Hello to the lovely. Thank you so Mrs. much, Mrs. Sadaka. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.